Will energy transition be delayed due to a lack of lithium? Our next two guests have hands-on experience making the equipment that turns ore into metal. From Metza Autotech, it is Tim Robinson. He's Vice President of Mineral Sales for North and Central America. And Miko Ratanhayu, he is Vice President of Hydrometallurgy. Tim and Miko, welcome to Kitco. Thank you. Thank you. Metzo Autotech has supplied lithium processing plants to companies like Piedmont Lithium and Sabani Steel Waters Caliber. Uh, Tim, I'm going to start with you. Could you uh, survey the types of services that Metzo Autotech provides to the lithium sector? Yeah, well, I think you can divide it into two sort of uh, areas. One is project services. So, you know, we've got proprietary technology and, and so we, we, we can do, you know, PFS. We call that pre-feasibility studies. We can do batch testing and we actually have a pilot uh, plant in in uh, Finland where we can do all of the test work continuously so we can we can generate uh, basic engineering and and provide those uh, those engineering services to to the customer typically as we go further down the project uh, we would probably need a, an EPCM for detailed engineering but uh, the proprietary uh, part of the or the proprietary scope of the project is is uh, Typically, we lead that. And then we can talk about, you know, when the plant is actually uh, up and running and, and starting. Uh, we've got a very, very strong service presence in places like Eastern Canada and NCA in general. But, you know, where, where a lot of these lithium projects are, for instance, Eastern Canada or um, in the USA, uh, we've got very strong service for the concentrators, for, for the refineries. Uh, there's uh, all types of uh, lithium processing and also with these uh, high lithium prices, Tim, that, uh, you know, uh, people are looking at uh, other types of uh, sources of lithium supply. So you have uh, direct lithium extraction uh, that you're seeing with people in the oil wells. There's clays, there's hard rock, there's brines. Uh, what types of services does uh, Metsota Tech provide and which ones are they not providing? So, I mean, right now, I mean, you mentioned clays and, and brines. I mean, we are doing developments in that area. Um, and in fact, we've actually supplied equipment and and some, you know, processes in the brines space. But we're very, very active in the rock area, particularly with the concentrators and also with the, we have a, a proprietary lithium hydroxide process that uh, uh, takes the spodumene concentrate and turns it into battery grade um a battery grade uh, lithium hydroxide to feed the precursor plants and the battery plants. Uh, now, Miko, uh, Tim uh, mentioned uh, that word uh, battery grade. Um, I wanted you, uh, because uh, Metzo Autotech has uh, done so much work around uh, copper processing, base metal processing, uh, precious metals processing, uh, talk about how different uh, the lithium processing plant, uh, sorry, lithium processing is uh, from processing other types of metals. Yeah, there are certain um, differences. I, I, even the concentrator plant, there are certain uh, uh, differences in flotation, which you need to know when you are building such a plant. Uh, mm -hmm. Secondly, then in refining, basically, we are bringing our experience from uh, other materials to the lithium space. So that's one of the advantages that we have uh, decades of experience from uh, uh, copper, nickel, zinc, and we are bringing it to lithium space. Um, uh, there are certain differences um, in the chemistries, uh, how, do you how you treat the feed. Uh, and also, our uh, proprietary lithium hydroxide process is a soda leaching, alkaline leaching process, which is uh, different in the industry. Um, so there are certain differences. Tim, would you, do you think you would like to continue from here? Yeah, yeah, just just to comment on that, it's quite interesting. In the rock space, you know, typically you have a mine and a concentrator and a refinery. So we see that very similar in copper and we see that in zinc. And, you know, you can have an integrated operation where you have the mines, the, the concentrator and the refinery all in one location. But also, uh, like zinc and, and copper, lithium, we're seeing, to ha seeing that uh, there's custom refinery locations. So they would bring in material from, from outside of the country into those refineries. So there's quite, quite a few similarities in the, the rock-sourced uh, uh, lithium space. Uh, and, so, and, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, if I, if, I, can I, can, if I may continue from here. So I would also like to say that, you know, our, um, the, the experience that we have is, is also uh, um, in the testing 
simulation um, and and we have been building this uh, Geminex digital twin product uh, to support in 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 this field as well so for example this kind of custom refineries we can simulate earlier uh, already before the feed arrives we can simulate the process and and how it would uh, yield results to the customer with this feed so so it, I, I think we um, we can contribute quite a lot in that area. Uh, let's um, uh, let's talk about uh, the health of the sector right now and uh, specifically uh, talking about uh, pipelines, Tim. Um, I, how is, um, uh, you know, from your view uh, at Metso Ototech, um, how does it look like in terms of uh, the uh, development of, uh, you know, lithium space? Is there a lot more lithium supply coming online? Um, yeah, there is a lot of projects right now. Yes, I mean uh, the pipeline's quite amazing. Um, we've there's uh, you know just and uh, in, in particularly in North America we've got you know there's there's uh, clay projects in particularly in Nevada area, and then there's uh, quite a lot of spodumene concentrators and you know refineries related to those uh, concentrators typically in eastern Canada, but we've also got uh, there's some in eastern USA. So, you know, they're, they're getting closer to the, to the battery plants, um, but, but uh, there's a lot of activity right now. We're very busy. Uh, Miko, you have more of a global perspective. Uh, how is it looking from your end? Yeah, it's really active, like Tim just said. So, uh, and we are actually, in, we have seen it we, we are investing to uh, additional piloting capacity because the demand is so high so we we want to support uh, faster our customers and that's why also we are investing in this field uh, I, I don't need to tell you uh, lithium prices are up nearly tenfold uh, since the start of the decade and uh, many believe uh, that uh, the current prices uh, won't be dropping um, you know aside also Tim from uh, the fact that um, you know that uh, you see so many uh, um, you know see so many uh, projects is getting to development um, you know, mm. describe what the investment is uh, like into the space um, also maybe is there is there new entrants that are coming into it yeah, I mean, it's quite interesting. I mean, you know, we have, um, you know, in, in the normal, you know, gold and base metals, we have juniors and, you know, banks and investors. In this case, it's quite interesting, particularly just recently, we're seeing, uh, you know, OEM car manufacturers investing in uh, in, in uh, projects. Uh, so we're seeing that, uh, uh, you know, reverse kind of, of um, in, uh, investment and then, also, we're getting some quite interesting, different um, investors because of um, the the uh, the prop, you know the momentum and the activity. We're getting some investors that are typically we don't see in in the normal mining space. Uh, Miko, yeah, and uh, I mean also the mining companies are expanding their value chain um, downstream, so we can see that uh, there is interest on refining further the the pure concentrates to, to battery grade salts, let's say like in uh, uh, nickel sulfates or, or cobalt sulfates. So, so definitely there is, uh, there is investment in, the, in this market. Uh, lastly, I uh, just wanted to talk about uh, one of the most important uh, trends uh, within mining is this is that uh, carbon reduction. And uh, we hear it again and again uh, because um, this is going to be a requirement or something that's uh, built in in terms of uh, supply for uh, getting eventually to EVs. Uh, what are you most excited about in uh, the carbon uh, reduction front? Uh, Tim, I'll start with you. Well, um, I think... Um at Metso Autotech, we're really excited to be part of it um, and to contribute. Uh, we're extremely active. I mean, I think 100% of our R&D is in energy saving technology development. Um, and so it's, it's, a, it's a massive focus for us right now. Uh, and Miko, uh, what are you most excited about on the carbon reduction front? I'm really excited about the, the industry in general. I mean, uh, the industry is really taking seriously this uh, su these sustainability issues and the carbon footprint issues. Uh, so it's really a, a commercial advantage to uh, suppliers to meet the criteria and, and do well in this field. Miko and Tim, thanks for speaking with Kekko. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. My name is Michael McRae. You're watching Kekko Mining.